What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan, 1988, or Justin, back here to week 82 on the DVD fiends. And for my Saturday review, I'm going to go a little crazy. Probably not, but I'll I'll say that anyway. And um, I'm going to talk about probably what is considered one of the worst sequels in the horror genre. But for me, I enjoy it. Now, the film I'm going to talk about is the 1977 sequel to the 1973 classic, and none of the sequels or the prequels beat the original classic film, but for me, this is my favorite sequel, and uh, a lot of people like the third one, but that's a good one, but this one, I, I just think is fun, cheesy, and enjoyable, but there are problems, problems in the film. Um, it's The Exorcist to The Heretic. Now, it stars Linda Blair, again, uh, playing Reagan, and uh, you have also Richard Burton, who plays an investigator, and Lewis Fletcher, who is a hypnotic research specialist. But um, you can just call her a counselor, because she's basically counseling in the film Linda Blair or Reagan, and, uh, you know, just counseling her. Um, and it's directed by John Berman. I hope I said his last name right. But the basic storyline, and it's going to be quick, is... Linda Blair, after four years after the incident, is trying to move on with her life. You know, she's in tap dancing classes. She has a show coming up. You know, there's weird, strange things that happen actually in the show. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, and this investigator comes along, and he's investigating a case. And, um, you know, it deals with Linda Blair. So, but... um. As the movie goes along, she starts, you know, having these nightmares of her past. And they have this machine where, you know, they can go into her mind or something. And uh, you see these, you know, flashbacks. or They're re actually reenactments, but they call them flashbacks to the first film and the incidents that happen towards the end of that film. Um, so, and there are problems with the reenactments, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so, the nightmares are going on, strange things are happening to Reagan, and uh, it leads to a crazy, cheesy type of ending on the last 20 minutes, but I'm not going to get into that. But, um, yes, this film, for, for me, I enjoy the film. I think it's pretty good, um, There, but there are a lot of problems in the film. Uh, one is, there is a storyline in the film, but there are problems, you know, you got to dig deep down to find, well, not, I don't know if you have to dig deep down. I don't know, I'm just going to stop babbling. But um, there is a storyline there, but there are a lot of problems going on in the film. For me, I think that they rewrote stuff, or they were changing things, and, you know, things just, for most parts of the uh, film, things just did not fit right with other things in the film. But, um... And there's, you know, a couple slow moments, but, you know, you have to have your slow moments sometimes. But, uh, yeah, so that's one of the problems. Another problem I had was the flashbacks, or they're really reenactments. And, you know, I can understand if they wanted to reenact it, but there's a fact, I believe, that Linda Blair did not want to put back on the makeup. And so they got a stunt double or another actress to put on the makeup and act like Reagan back in the first film. But there's problems there, because one, you could tell, if they were trying to, you know, say that this was Linda, really Linda Blair or something, or try to fool the audience, for me, they didn't fool me. Because one, the voice isn't that great at all. Um, it's not as creepy as in the first film, um, and you could just tell it's not her. You know, you put the makeup on, but the voice just, it's different during the movie. It's just different. Um... Also, you know, this isn't like too much of a big complaint, but in the movie, towards the end of the film, and I can't remember if you hear it, you know, in the middle of the film, but towards the end, especially going into the credits, they don't, they don't use, in any of the film, I don't think, use the original creepy score from the first film. And they use this, you know, it's a, the ending's supposed to be kind of a relief, but the music at the end, for some reason, I just did not like too much. I kind of annoyed me a little bit at times. It was just too soft for me, you know. And um, most people probably like that score, but for me, I just 
I did not like the score that much at all. But there are good things. Um, Linda Blair coming back. I love Linda Blair. I like a lot of the movies that she does, and she, she's cute. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful person. I'll say she's hot. Um, you have familiar faces coming back, especially in the flashbacks. Um, you have new faces, including a, you could say, a young James Earl Jones um, that's in the movie for overall 20 minutes. Um, so, yes, that's all I'm going to talk about for The Exorcist to The Heretic. I say watch it at your own risk because, like I said, this is probably considered one of the worst sequels in the horror genre. But for me, I enjoy the film. I think it's pretty good. It is cheesy at times. There are problems in the film. But, um, like I said, I enjoy the movie. So, it's going to get a 3 out of 5 for me. You know, good moments, bad moments, you know, bad moments, but... You know, there are good moments, you know, in the film. At least I think. So, there is a storyline there, I will say. But problems. Some problems in the scene. It just doesn't go right with most of the film. But, um, yes. So, this is my review on The Extras 2, The Heretic. Um, like I said, watch it at your own risk. And um, I think you can get it cheap. So, but, uh, yeah, it's my favorite sequel. Everybody likes, well, most people like 3. I don't know if a lot of people like 3. None of them beat the original classic film, though, but if I had to pick a sequel, this would be it. I just, I think it's fun, or enjoyable, cheesy. So that is going to be our, my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, come back next week to see my next Saturday review, and uh, come back this whole week to see some awesome reviews from awesome guys. So talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are having a good day or night. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And go eat some Skittles.